Old parents want the best for our children. We want our kids to feel loved, and from there, to know that they're worthy of being cared about. We want them to be successful. We want them to get good jobs and to have healthy, meaningful relationships. We want them to stay safe now, and we want to prepare them for a world that's full of rules and expectations about appropriate behavior. So there are real competing forces that we have between our desires about having happy children, children who are successful, children who make wise decisions, and people who are obedient and know how, how to follow the rules when they get out there. The great news is that we have decades of research that tells us how kids turn out depending on what we choose to prioritize and the balance we seek in these competing forces. So we're going to talk about parenting style. And when we talk about parenting style, we're really talking about how parents prioritize or choose to balance two things. Warmth, support, and expressed love, meaning that the kid knows that they're loved, with setting rules and monitoring those rules. And when you have these two forces, you have four parenting styles. Before I describe them, I want to make sure we're on the same page. What we know is that all parents are wanting to do the best for their children, and what we hope is that based on what we know, you can borrow some knowledge to move in a direction where your relationship might even be stronger with your child. First parenting style, authoritarian. Very high in rules, not so high in expressed love or warmth. These parents, they might say something like, you'll do what I say, why? Because I said so. They prioritize obedience. How do these kids turn out? They're angels. They're the yes ma'am, no ma'am kids. They're incredibly polite until about mid-adolescence. And in mid-adolescence, they begin to rebel and they begin to engage in a lot of risk behaviors and they don't go to their parents for advice. You know, a lot of parents who were raised that way didn't like it. It didn't feel good not to know that their parents were coming from a place of caring. So they kind of went equal and opposite. They became permissive, right? Very high in expressed love very low in setting rules and monitoring those rules. These parents might say something like, um, uh, I love you so much, darling. You know, I want to have the kind of relationship where we can talk about things. Think of us as friends. I didn't have that with my father. Now, I'm going to teach you good rules. I'm going to teach you how to do the right thing. But go ahead, I trust you. You'll do the right thing. How do these kids turn out? They're very nice. They're very friendly. Um, but they tend to be quite anxious. You know why? They're afraid of disappointing their parents. They see them as friends. And in terms of risk behaviors, they um, engage in quite a few risk behaviors, and they believe they have permission to do so. The next parenting style is called disengaged. It's not high in expressed love or warmth, nor in rules or monitoring. These parents have the philosophy that kids will learn things on their own. They might say to their friends something like, kids will be kids. You know, I figured it out. They'll figure it out. If they really need me, I'll get involved. How do these kids turn out? They make their parents feel really needed. They'll do what it takes to grab their parents' attention. It leads to delinquency. What is the parenting style I want you to move towards? Towards balanced parenting, also known as authoritative parenting or lighthouse parenting. Balanced parenting, it's very high in warmth, support, and expressed love. And there are absolutely rules and those rules are monitored. So these parents might say something like, darling, I love you so much, but you know what? I'm not your friend, I'm your daddy, and that's actually better for you. I'm gonna give you good role modeling. I'm gonna let you make your share of mistakes because that's how you're gonna grow. But for the things that really matter, you're gonna do what I say. Why? Because it's my job to keep you safe and moral. How do these kids turn out? First, they follow the rules most closely. So their parents actually have the most authority. They also have the best relationships with their parents because they really talk about things. They really check in. Um, they also are less likely to be depressed or to be anxious. They have the greatest degree of mental health. They do best in school, not just in terms of grades, but involvement with school, with the teachers, with after school activities. They are least likely to be bullied or to bully other kids. They are least likely to use drugs. They are likely to have their sexual experiences later and more likely to protect themselves when they do. They are also safer in a car. When we monitor our kids in a loving way, 
those kids are half as likely to be in a car crash and twice as likely to wear a seatbelt. I don't know you, but what I do know is you're the kind of parent who comes to a parenting site to learn how to have the best relationship with your kid and how to prepare them to be safe now and thrive in the future. Your kid's lucky to have you.